my gosh. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Finally, that AI hacking competition from the last video is over. That competition just kept getting extended and extended. And with over 2,000 hackers from around the world, your boy Secret Letters and his buddy Spork ended up in 12th place. But don't worry, I'm working all that out with my therapist. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna cross over from red into blue and create a Python script that can be used for incident responders, security analysts, red intelligence teams, security researchers. Anyways, you get the point. The list of security jibs goes on. Now you're probably asking yourselves, secret letters, you're saying a lot of nonsense. Just tell me what this script is going to do. Well, my friends, it's going to provide us with a brief summary of an IP address's country of origin, malicious detections from virus total, gray noise classification, and for a little bit of spice of vulnerability research and hacking, open ports. So first we're going to streamline who is lookup by using the IP who is Python package. It's then going to send a get request to the virus total API, which is going to retrieve the scan results from various antivirus engines and parse that response for us. Now, if you're not familiar with what virus total is, don't worry guys, neither am I. Just, just kidding. Virus total is designed to inspect various items. I guess you can say um, URLs, IP addresses, um, anything you can input from your computer. It will inspect it and it will scan it with over, by inspect, I mean scan with over 70 different antivirus scanners. But anyways, the script is gonna reach out to VirusTotal and then it's going to send another get request to graynoise.io with the IP addresses classification extracted for us. Now, Graynoise is a cybersecurity platform that collects and analyzes internet-wide scans and attack traffic. And it's a good source to tell security researchers what not to worry about. But then the script doesn't stop there. It's going to run Nmap to extract a list of open ports that it scans. And finally, if you guys are still with me, it's going to print the results and I set the false positive rate to two, which means that if the malicious count from virus total is more than two, it will print the line in green because we all know hackers like to use green font. So it'll print the line in green indicating further research into that IP address may be needed. Otherwise, it will just be a standard output as a benign IP address and you can toss that into the IP address graveyard. I, 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 I don't know what an IP address graveyard is, but if you have one, go ahead and toss it in there. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit me up in the comments section below. Find me over on Patreon for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you guys out there on the hunt.